so it produces more induced current it attracts the magnet more the magnet accelerates more the, in the induced current becomes more and what happens don't think it is here suppose it was two kilometers away and i gave it a slight push what will happen it will travel all the, that two kilometer enter the magnet enter the magnet see it would have entered the magnet and, and, and what will happen? What, what, what does it mean? So if it was 50 kilometers away, I can move a magnet that is 50 kilometers away just by giving it a small tug. Correct? So what is happening? Who is doing that much of work? The system. From where? From nowhere. Okay, where is the energy getting, getting lost? Not nowhere. So, so what is happening? the whole law of conservation of energy will get violated. So according to this, if we suspend a magnet near a point it will automatically move like this. Hmm? If we suspend the magnet hmm. near this point, hmm. it will ah, automatically yes, yes, yes. move yeah, like yeah. this. So, so if it was something like this and you, 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 you gave it a small push like this, so it will start actually oscillating around that point inside, yes no? hmm? inside the coil no even here if, if, you, if you don't force it and maybe your surface is frictionless enough then if you push it it will immediately push it back and it will start oscillating so the current that will be generated won't be in one specific direction it will be in two directions hmm? the current that will be generated will be in two directions hmm. There will be an AC that will be created here. No. Normally what will happen? That was contradiction, right? What, what we are trying to say? That if the magnet was moved to the left, if the magnet was moved to the left, and the induced current was such that, and the induced current was such that hmm? the induced current was such that it would have attracted it it would have attracted it by becoming a south pole then the magnet would have kept on accelerating towards the coil correct then the magnet would have kept accelerating towards the coil even from far off distances and and the law of con and from far off distances doing a large amount of work out of nowhere understand mm -hmm. this would have violated the law of conservation of energy this would have violated the law of conservation of energy And that's not possible okay so lenses law is the direct fallout of the conservation of law of conservation of energy is it not fine now there is a word of caution that I'd like to exercise 
and that is the more fundamental thing to use is this you know is what that you understand in what direction in what direction in what direction in what direction the flux increased and how the induced current will oppose it if you start taking it too far hmm, many times what happens this is very handy okay you know i ask you in this direction you say this has to become north if it was south you know it has to become south correct and you immediately calculate it but then you'll get stuck so what happens over, over a period of time we start developing a habit in which we we use this north south pole phenomena to calculate the direction of the induced emf and you're not wrong you're not wrong the trouble will become the trouble the trouble will come when you are finding out the induced emf without any motional emf as in the case of third experiment in third experiment he was not moving anything you understand he didn't move anything fine no, but when the current is induced uh, in the in the in the coil with the battery if the when the key is pressed it is not induced it is uh, when the flowed. current hmm. is flowing so it will be moving that, like that we know the direction in that one we can calculate we can find in which direction the magnetic field line oh. will be and we can obviously find out in what direction will the no, no. current will be used in the other coil where where in the other coil no, but nothing is moving if you say if this is the north it is not moving anywhere no so whether it will develop north or south you uh, that that is immaterial that it is not opposing anything in the coil you know since there is no movement so you won't know it is not going away it's not going towards it but we know the direction of the current so we know the north and south pole so so what but it is not moving away or coming closer no if it is north and it was coming closer then this will develop a north if it was north and it was going away it, the same thing will develop a south sure yes, so we know right if, if if it's increasing and if it's decreasing. that's what then you come here no. then you come here no mm -hmm. that's what that's what i'm saying this is more fundamental so always stick to this even certain problems that we'll do right now that that will have no head or tails of the north or the south pole so you have to come to this ultimately so i recommend and at that that capacity will develop over a period of time where to use what but never lose sight of this okay never lose sight of this so 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 this this way of calculating the the flux approach is more fundamental than the than the north south pole inducement approach okay so the 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 opposing effect of induced current is more fundamental than the north south pole effect okay more fundamental it does not mean that it is kind of or some other formula altogether but it is applicable everywhere okay so and you should understand in in what direction the flux is and what is getting reduced what is getting increased we'll soon see we'll right now see one of the questions that will inculcate that 